Hey, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Today we're looking at Dead at 17 Protectorate. This is by Viper Comics. This is number one. Uh, this is a little confusing because Dead at 17 is by Josh Howard. Uh, uh, full disclosure, I've had Josh Howard on my channel before. He's a great guy. Uh, very, very talented guy. Very nice guy. I've spoke to him a few times. I, I, I bought artwork from him. So I just want that everybody to know that. But look, his name's not on this. Why? So why did I mention Josh Howard? Well, Josh Howard created Dead at 17. That was his baby. That was his, I guess, I, I'm going to say his first foot into the comic book world. And it was a big hit. It was a big hit. So I knew about Dead at 17 before I knew about Josh Howard. How funny is that? Because I thought I discovered Josh Howard at the wonderful uh, T-Bird and Throttle comic. I went berserk for that. And then I went back at backwards into my collection to see what else he did and i realized i had some of his comics and, and, and you know and i and i didn't realize it focus all right so again so this is josh howard's comic but he i think i i don't know if he hired these people out or if they approached him or what but it's it's written by and drawn by other people so why why did that happen well the story has tops and a, a, a twists and turns and this is set in the past so this is kind of like a prequel so it's a it, it it's a it's a good place to uh have other people draw it so it's a break in time a break in story break in characters and it, it's a it's a good way to have a, another art team okay all right so viper comics oh this is a three issue mini series so it's it's uh dead at 17 turned into a bunch of series of mini series and if i may say one thing uh, it's kind. Of, I, I kind of got confused into what order to read the comics, and I'm an anal retentive person, so I reached out to Josh Howard, and he sent me uh, the correct order to read everything. So there you go. Like I said, he's he's a wonderful guy. So if anybody's confused, I, I can copy and paste what he sent to me, and, and and you can read them all in proper order. So look at this. All right, I love talk about the cover. So we got Dead at Seventeen, the Protectorate issue one of three, written by Alex Hambly, and. Illustrated by Benjamin Hall, colored by Marlene Hill, edited by Josh Howard. Dead at 17, created by Josh Howard. So, of course, out of all these people, the only name that I recognize is Josh Howard. Uh, and and uh, this, so this is my first experience with Alex and Benjamin and, and Marlene. And uh, you know, they did a great job. I wouldn't be showcasing this comic. For those of you who are new, I tend to only showcase comics that I really like. So just seeing the comic it, on my channel is a spoiler that it's a comic that I like. That it's a good comic. So let's look at the Indicia. For those of you who are new, the indicia is this this little writing down here in the corner that it has all the legal information. So it, you know the date it came out, trademarks, and who who published it. So you know the, this this is where you go to if ever you have like legal problems. But I like to do this because it shows the date. So we got uh, October two thousand five, published by Viper Comics. All right, so here we have this uh, girl. Uh, you know, she's having bad dreams. Oh, I guess I jumped right to the spoiler. She's having bad dreams. And she, in the dream, she's murdered. And here we go. It's Angels. And if you saw my showcase yesterday of Violet Descends, I talked about how I love Angels, which is one of the reasons why I got into Dead at 17. Spoiler alert. It, there's, there's angels and demons involved. You know, it's 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 the, the eternal battle. I love that. I love that. So here we have Angels. The, the, you know, there's a... There's a this is heaven back then. So these this angel's being condemned for uh, for uh, crimes against uh, the the angelness, the order, the way, and he's being condemned. You know, he's pleading his case, and condemnation occurs, and he's being pecked apart by. Look at that! Just look at that! Look at that! I I, I love it, and I love. You see all these glyphs on them. The, these. Throughout the series of Dead at 17, those glyphs have been showing up. So I, I, I guess it's like a, a angelic writing. I, I, I forget if they they gave the language a, a, a term. So here you got this priest. He's waking up and he's he's there's like writing in, in, in this book. What do they call that? Like automatic writing? You know, some there's, there's a word that I can't think of. And now we cut to these are all like the little prequels, and we're, now we're cutting to the main characters. Okay, uh, this is. This is Grace, perfect name for the for the the, the the main character in a story about angels and demons. And look at her. She's just like Um, she's like too good to be true. You know, like like she's beautiful, she's tall, she's got this like Vavoom body, and uh she's a goody two shoes, her father's the, the local preacher. And what I do like is 
that her friends are teasing her and she's teasing back. So she's got a little bit of a mischievous playfulness to it. Like it would have just been boring if she was like totally good, you know? So she's got a, like a little, like a, a, a little fire under her, which to me makes her more endearing. And what I liked, because I thought she was going to be all like holier than now and, and insult them. They, they, they enjoy the ribbing back. It's, it's, I don't know. I, 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 I like the, uh, the playful goofiness between, between friends. You know, it, to me, that's realistic. Friends bust each other's chops. L let me, let me tell you this. If you ever come to my house for a game night and I don't bust your chops, that means I don't like you. <laughs> it's funny because it totally has nothing to do with anything. But this Thursday, I had a new guy come to my house for games <laughs> and, and me and my other, and Richard Dom and I, myself, we were busting each other's chops. <laughs> and Kristen was like, uh, I think he was a little uncomfortable with how, uh, you know, how, how over 40 year olds talk to each other christian being in his early 20s <laughs> i don't know is that an old timer thing that that we bust each other's chops and and you young and whippersnappers don't but i digress all right so she comes home she's doing the dishes her father's doing some uh, studious work and she's hugging dad it's it i i like how there's nothing sinister you know it, it's not that like jaded today where fathers are always bad you know mom's dead they didn't explain why but they just you know organically reference that mom is is gone and they're very close a dad wants the best for grace he wants her to go off to college to to, to have a good life to 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 do to uh better herself not that there's anything wrong with her now but you know what i mean that's every good parent they want their, their children to, to be better and she's like i want to stay with you dad and, I, and he's like i'll have none of that you know and dad loves the, that the fact that grace is feeling like that and then we got some cheesecake up here she goes upstairs getting ready for bed i don't know i'm i've, I've never been a, a teenage girl do you get undressed in front of the window or is that just like a movie thing but then again this is oh i didn't say this this is set in the 40s this is a prequel to the to the current storyline of, of uh dead at 17 so maybe there's no, there's no drone cameras and there is a big tree in front of the house you know the house is kind of far away so who knows i don't know but i you know this is just like a movie trope thing get dressed for the wood and somebody's peeping you know and then dad what did dad do he he found this book he or more more precisely he he translated these writings and uh these writings are, are a big focus in, in Dead at 17. I, I, I don't want to spoil the big, long story, you know, but you could and look at this, this creepiness. And he's just over and struggles. Poor dad, poor dad. So she comes down, you know, strangest thing just happened. You know, is, is something going on? Is somebody here? You know, you know that feeling that you have when, when you're not sure if uh, somebody's around or not? You know, she has that feeling. And I like this. Dad is now possessed by the demonic forces i mean is uh, it's not a spoiler right that is now possessed by demo and you know and he's being a little creepy towards his daughter you know and he's like i'm gonna beat you up the things we're gonna do to you you know and she's like you know what do you do this this is dad you know and look at this this tongue is this this snake is just freaking creep and she's beating him up you know and he's just like wow there's some fight to you left you know there's nowhere to run so somebody had said i, I forget exactly what pages is but this town has like <laughs> so many cemeteries more cemeteries than than the average town so like you know there's always been problems here and what's going on other ancestors or the, the the founder of the town is is coming back from the from the dead as zombies you know and look at this book tell me i, I would love to get a prop of that book you know like a like a leather oh, what's the word when you can feel it Tech, tactile oh that would be so cool josh put that stretch goal uh, 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 oh my god a compendium a dead at 17 compendium with this kind of cover oh my god take my money take my money but i digress so she's fighting fighting zombie dad over here she is all for some sport you know just just reveling the i imagine the demons the spirit they, they kind of they must revel in sensation whether good or bad you know and he's like oh look she, he doesn't care it's not his eyes you'll go get more eyes right she grabbed the book and you ready for the next page look at this <laughs> that guy's looking at me reading this to you oh my god look at the spines over here i, I don't know I, I i don't know what it is but lately i've been i've been really getting into horror comics i i, I know i've been saying this a lot but i i don't know what else to say I mean, I'm, I'm getting into horror comics a lot you know i i guess talking to brian bow is is really uh infected me with with, with monsterness Brian Bow being the creator of the wonderful Wolf and Batsy comic. And here we got, you know, 
zombies walking through town. It's just getting shot. You know, you're entering Darlington Valley and, you know, like, look at these zombies. And now we got, I guess this is the protectorate. I only read the first issue for this. I, I literally just read this comic and now I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm showcasing it. So I read it and now I'm showcasing it. How, how's that? Okay. And now we got, this is the commercial for, uh, for uh, issue two. Legends of the Middleman. This I, I really like this art. I, I, I'm kind of digging this. I got to do some more research on Viper Comics. If anybody knows anything about Viper Comics, could, could you say something in the, in, the, in the comments? Because Viper Comics had some good stuff. They had Wolf and Batsy. They had uh, Dead at 17. Um, some, some really good, good, good comics, you know. And then this is Nosebleed by uh, Nick Bounce. So this is other people doing uh, uh, Dead at 17. So this is like a little strip set in the... Uh, the, the Dead at 17 universe, you know, the, and this is current, this is current, so mom's a, looking to buy a new home, the girl's like, don't move near the, the cemetery, or, you know, by, by the lake where, where de deaths have occurred, and mother's like, yeah, but the house is so cheap there, we can save money, you know, they have a fight, and what's, the, the girl has been uh, making a charms with a with like glyphs on them. The mom's been throwing them away. And she's like, no. And here she is, like, to get, she's getting attacked by zombies. The girls take your hand off my mom, fighting, fighting. And the, the glyphs repel the zombies, you know. And she picks up a, she, she starts carving glyphs onto everything. And that's fighting and destroying the zombies. And now, you know, she's doing good. And mom's like, keep, you can keep making those charms, you know. Da 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 da. Back cover for the, uh, that did a 17 protector you know this is just a i, I guess an alternate cover or just pin up page I, I i'm having difficulties with, with words lately Focus. so there you go this is a dead at 17 protectorate uh this is the, the 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 concept and the creator of the series of dead at 17 was created by uh by josh howard who's now doing uh wonderful uh, t-bird and throttle comics I, I i can't recommend those enough i i got I'm a fanboy for life of Josh Howard now. And like I said, I, I got some Dead 17. I, I, uh, I, uh, I, I picked up Dead, uh, T-Bird and Throttle and I got so excited about T-Bird and Throttle. I loved it so much. I, I looked up everything and I was like, oh, I didn't even realize that, that I had, I didn't realize that Dead 17 was the same creator. I mean, it was almost 20 years apart, so forgive me. And now I, I bought all, all of these. I, there's, you could get a collected. Matter of fact, I think the 20, the 20th anniversary of dead at 17 there's like a big big west book of red march you know has that for a hobbit reference a book collected compendium of of all the dead sea that i think is available right now i'll put a link in the description if it's still active that you could pick up but i i so i i ordered that don't don't i, I ordered that but i also got a all the floppies because I'm, I'm that kind of a person. So I can ramble on and on and on. That's always my sign to stop talking when I just start repeat myself. All right. So thanks a lot. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. I haven't said it in a while, but I appreciate you all you guys. This channel is so good. I've been, I've been having live talks, talking with such interesting people. I do my Sunday comics on Sunday, which is live 10, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, where, I, where I, 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 I talk. I take out a comic and I do like a more of in-focus discussion about that particular comic. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I, I, I kind of always just like wake up early and what do I feel like talking about? Unless somebody has a request. And I've never said this before, but could you like, could you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications? I, I noticed that I've never said that. <laughs> so maybe if I say that, I'll get more subscribers, I'll get more you know, likes and get more comments. I don't know. Is that a YouTube thing? I guess you don't get what you don't ask for. But thank you, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.